How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to Milton Asians channel. Um, today I've got a pretty cool uh, unboxing to do. This is the TomTom Tom Bandit action camera. So it's uh, TomTom's quite new to the action camera market. Obviously it's mainly dominated by GoPro. Uh, but this is their first crack at an action camera. And I actually bought this from the photography show at the Birmingham NEC uh, this weekend that I've just been to. And I got a cracking deal on it, half price deal. Um, and it's normally like for around... £350 for the premium pack, I think £400, but I got it for like £200 um, and I got some accessories as well. So this is the premium pack which I'm going to use uh, when I'm motorbiking, hopefully do some more motor vlogs for you. Um, and I also got uh, these other bits as well. So this is the uh, floating protection cover which keeps it floating if you ever drop it in the sea. I've got a cool tripod adapter which you can use it on a normal tripod. Um, and I've also got this, which is a microphone cable, which connects to the back of it, so you can uh, plug in an external microphone. Uh, so that's pretty cool as well. So anyway, I'm just going to do an unboxing of this and a review for you, so you can see what the actual footage looks like. All right, so this is the front of the box here. So as you can see, it comes. If you are picking it up in a shop, it comes with this nice little. Uh, little uh, ropey label thing here which you can mount obviously on a hook or something like that um, you also see the uh, full view of the camera so you can see it from the side there you know get a good look at it while it's in the shop obviously it's got a little sticker there showing you know what is actually uh, turn, uh, shows up on that display that's a monochrome display as well doesn't actually give you a viewfinder unfortunately um, so it says TomTom Tom Bandit there, pack premium, obviously this is the premium pack with the extra bits. Um, that's the side there, you know, it's got some uh, cool bits of uh, information, you know, tag as it happened. They push a lot their uh, editing app that you actually get, that you can download for your smartphone, whether it be an Android or an iOS device. You can edit your um, uh, videos on there without the need of a computer, which is pretty cool, then upload them. Um, so yeah, that's the actual box itself. Um, as you can see from the top there, the premium pack does come with a um, remote control there as well, uh, which obviously you can strap to your wrist, and then if you are, say, riding with a motorcycle and you've got a glove, you can just press the uh, the button and it will start recording, so that's pretty cool um, that you actually get that with it. Now, the premium pack is um, on the TomTom Tom website, £329. Um, obviously, I got it on a really good deal at, photo, at a photo show, um, so I got it for uh, £200, so that's £199, so that's a really top deal, um, and for the spec of this thing, this thing can do... Um, all sorts of different uh, uh, resolutions. It, it can do 4K up to 15 FPS, which isn't exactly great, but for the price point I got it for, it's, you know, it's brilliant really. And you can do uh, 2.7K at 30 FPS, which is really, really, really good to be honest, um, for the price I bought it for, especially. Um, obviously, waterproof with an additional lens um, up to 50 meters. You can do a single shot at 60 megapixel and a burst up to 10, uh, 10 second burst uh, shots as well. 1080p is at 60fps and 720p uh, you can go to 120fps for that slow-mo uh, feature as well. You can also do time lapse on this thing as well. So I'm just going to clap the uh, the top bit off here. So, oh, how does it, how's it work this? Oh, there we go. So this just slides off. This is actually uh, plastic. It's not acetate. So nice little display here. And you get an, a nice rubbery finish to the backing here. Um, which is pretty cool, um, and the actual thing itself, which is good uh, how it's in this uh, mount here, because you can actually twist the mount as if it was actually mounted on a, a helmet, so you can twist it like that, change the orientation of it, which is pretty cool. Um, and let's see what you have to do here. Now, there you go. So you actually have a mount there, so that's an official TomTom -tom mount that's actually holding it in place while it's in the holder there. I'm just going to put that to the side there while I get out the rest of the bits. So this top flap comes undone, and then I think you just slide it out here. So let's slide that out there. Got some manuals. Okay, what have we got? Box. Another box. There we go, and nothing else inside there. <coughs> and how do you get this uh, remote out? Oh, there we go. So that's that's just a piece of plastic now. 
Okay, so we will start with the manuals. So here you get a Bandit Action Cam Accessories booklet. So I'm guessing this tells you all about the stuff you can buy for your Bandit Cam uh, from the TomTom Tom store, etc, etc, etc. And on this side, you've got some more stuff there, you know, wrist mounts, etc. So that's pretty cool how you get that with it anyway. Um, chuck that over there. You get a what looks to be a bat stick fitting guide. So this actually got a removable battery with a USB inside as well as a micro SD. So you can actually plug it into a computer and transfer your data as well as charging the bat stick at the same time. So that's a really good uh, feature that kills two birds in one stone. Um, uh, which is pretty cool, and then you know, it gives some information about how to remove it there. Um, and you get a little miniature book which tells you about uh, what's it, is it a bit of instructions. Yeah, it's all about little miniature instruction books, so that's pretty smart how you get that with it. So I'll just pop that to the side. Um, obviously, your little remote here. Uh, let's refocus this. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Sorry about this, guys. There we go. All right, so you get this cool little remote, and then um, on it you've got the little button there. So how's it? Oh, how's it work? It is quite hard to press actually. And you've got that one there, huh? And you got a little uh, what's that? An adhesive mount? It is it? I'm not going to pull it out now. Oh, it might be a cell battery or something like that. But, um, you know, I thought there'd be quite an easy click, but if you hear it, it is quite hard to press, um, which I didn't expect. And that's so that's the um, record button there. And then on here, you've got the, I think it's stop button. But obviously, I don't know how, how, how much pressure you would need until you actually start using it. So, uh can't obviously quote me on that one anyway. Um, inside here, let me just refocus this a bit. There we go. Right, so this is a accessory box here. So let's see what we've got inside here. First time I've opened this up myself, so I don't actually know what's going to be inside. Now, this is a cool little uh, mount here. So this is a 3M, um, a 3M uh, little grippy thing. And listen, oh, you get two of these, so you get two of these uh, 3M grippy things. You get a, uh, a strap, so you get a strap. You get a another kind of buckle strap. Um, what, what is this thing? So this is some kind of broom. Uh, don't actually know what that. Is. It looks like some kind of weird brush you put on the end there. It might be a a lens cleaning brush, something like that. So you get that, whatever that is. Uh, you get this. So this is another mount. Um, so ah, so what you do with this thing is uh, see if I can open it up here. So on that, let's see if I put it together and yeah, get this get this out. Okay, so you looks like it here. You get you get this little clasp. So you undo the clasp and then put is it put that on there? Ah, it's the first time I've used this thing, guys. So you're f learning with me how to actually use this thing. Oh, oh, you push that back. Put that in there. That snapped into place. Tighten that. There you go. And you've got this mount. Uh, and then this is a this is pretty cool. This, the Tom Tom here, because obviously this can spin, so it makes it easy to you know rotate. Um, it's actually a quick release um, mount, so you can actually get this and just snap it in. So I can just snap it in like that. So now that's in that and it's not coming off and then you just press on these your side buttons here and then it comes off. So I've got that and then yeah so I'm guessing you just like loosen that you know you can move it around or something I don't know I've still got to learn anyway but um, yeah you get that with it. Uh, how do you put this down now? Oh so that clamps it into place and you can move it 
and then push it back and then it won't move. Ah, okay, so say if you've got it facing you that way, you can undo that, lay it flat, and then lock it into place. All right, okay, we're, go we got we're getting there, we're getting there. And what have we got here? So this is pretty cool, actually. This is a... Um, adapter for GoPro mount. So obviously GoPro's been out for ages in the action cam market. The so chances are you might already have a GoPro with some accessories and you're thinking, nah, I don't want to upgrade to this thing because I've already got loads of adapters. What this thing is, is actually got a GoPro uh, connections there. Um, sorry, my phone's going off. So you've got GoPro connections there and then on this side you've got the um, the adapter for that. So you can actually use it with any GoPro accessory. Um, and here we've got a normal standard flat with a 3M adhesive mount and here we've got a curved, is it curved? Yep, we've got a curved with a 3M adhesive uh, sticker on it. So you get that and then here is the second box. Uh, what have we got here? If I can huh? open it up. This is turning out to be a long video. But there's loads of goodies in here, so... What? Come on. Well, maybe... You just, this is just a video of me struggling with a box. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we got it. We got there. We got there. Right, so here we have... We have this. So this is a... What is that? Oh, that's a power cable. So on the back there, you've got power. And then, uh, I'll show you on the camera here. So on the, on the back of the camera, you've got this flap here. Um, this is where you plug in the external mic. I, can't, can't, I don't want to bother taking it off now. But anyway, you take off that flap. You can plug in the power cable so you can charge it using the USB there without taking the battery out. Or you can plug in your external mic cable that I bought into that as well. That's your power USB. You've got Allen key. I'm not sure what you'd require that for yet, but we'll see. This cute little uh, bag. And, oh, that's the dive lens cover. So this is what you actually need, the lens that you need to put on if you want to go diving. So this goes up to 50 meters, because out of the box, the thing, uh, the camera is uh, just splash proof. So you've got the dive camera, a lens, and then we've got this, which is pretty smart. This is quite a big gizmo, where basically you put your camera on there, and then you've got a basic clamp, so you can put it on a bicycle, or maybe your motorbike handlebars, etc. And you just strap it onto there, so. And that's about it, really. Um, and this is the camera itself, I'll just show you here. Uh, this is what you've actually come to see. Uh, so you've got the TomTom Tom, uh, logo there. So it's, it's quite weighty. Uh, I think they say it's about 190 uh, grams, somewhere around there, 190, 195. So it is one of the heavier action cams on the market. Um, so it may be a bit cumbersome if you are on the... Um, if you are wearing it on your helmet, but I'll probably, probably say if you're doing it then, then put it in the centre at the top of your helmet so you won't feel it as much. And that's a big button there. So you got your big button for um, you know navigating, uh, and then you've got the side buttons here as well. Where's that big button? And that I don't know. Unless you just touch, but you can't actually press it down. So it could just be a touch button that. But these are uh, haptic actual buttons. Um, very robust build. Um, you've got a, a pause button there or stop button. Obviously that's your screen. So yeah, I'm not taking it off yet because um, I want to play with it properly and there's your record button on the back you if you want to take the lens off you press this little tab in here I'm guessing and then there yeah, just twist it off like that so that would be the standard lens that it comes with it that's the splash proof lens and then to put it back on you just twist it on dead easy that actually really really easy this is a twistable you can twist it back and forth uh, what else have we got? We've got this again, push that button in and then you've got So this is the charger, so if you look in there Nothing much going on here, but this is the actual battery itself With the USB 3.0 which is good to have on the end, so it is a bit faster That's your micro SD card slot there and obviously that's the battery and the micro SD and the USB connection all in one stick. So this is just your camera housing as well as the lens. So that's pretty cool. Um, you get all that with it. So I'll just put that back. 
uh, there we go, I need to twist, twist it back in, dead easy actually. So yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed my unboxing, um, I, I'm going to do some footage with it, I'm going biking on Saturday to Ducati to have a play about on some brand new Ducatis on their open day in Preston, so I'm going to add that to this video so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to be filming at 2.7k at 30fps, but this video on the TomTom, -tom, but this video itself will be uploaded in 4k, so uh, you get an idea. Anyway, um, yeah, speak to you in a bit. Yo guys, um, just put the head, uh, the camera on my helmet. I'm just going to go out for a quick ride and um, just see, get a feel for the camera. Uh, it's a really nice day today uh, in Chorley. Uh, going to go up Riverton, do a quick blast around there and we'll hopefully see the GPS coming into play. You'll get an effect there. Um, I've put the remote um, just over here. So, I don't know if I mounted it right because. Um, I think it might be pointing a bit too down, obviously it's my first action camera so I don't know the best place to mount it on the helmet, but we'll find out anyway, so this is my Thundercat, so I'll just put the um, the uh, remote there, just strapped it on there, um, so it's pretty secure really, and then obviously it's flashing, it's paired up, then you just press the stop, start, what have you. Um, about to just do a quick blast up Rivington, see if it works and see if I've got it mounted in the correct position, hopefully I have and you'll be able to see something. So here we go. I'm not going to do much talking when I'm actually riding because I think you'll just get wind noise. So we'll see. The bike warmed up.
All right, guys, so this is where I had it fitted on my helmet there. Just going to pop it there. And then basically, you just clip it in like that. And then spin it so it's forcing the right orientation. So that's how I had it on my uh, helmet while I was riding. So I'm just going to show you the uh, app you actually get with it, which is pretty cool. One sec. All right, so I'll just show you the actual TomTom Tom menu itself. So in here, if I just bring it close, one sec, and focus. There we go. All right, so in here, this is actually a backlit display, um, and then you've got some basic settings. So you've got continuous, um, you've got burst, you've got photo, video, slow motion time lapse and night time lapse and then you've got so in your video sections you can go so I've got it set to 2.7k 30fps because that's what I was uh, wanted and then you can have like how many hours remaining etc and your SD card heart rate speed uh, then that's your Wi-Fi connection so you can connect to your Wi-Fi just look for it on your phone um, you've got settings there, you can go in general, connect, that lets you connect your phone, your, your remote as well, uh, heart rate sensors as well, uh, camera, got some basic stuff, language, you know, storage, flight mode, about, etc. Image lets you change the uh, scene type, just leave it on auto me and then rotation. You've got video which lets you do the size of the video, so it goes a little bit to 4K these are all your different options uh, view uh, normal or wide view Not wide uh, oh, so let me change that, I'll change the video wide, yeah, size leave it on 2.7K there you go, and then, yeah Pretty simple to navigate, really simple uh, photos. You've got, I've got one photo on here, you can change the settings of the photo. Dead easy, so that's what you can do on there. But the place it shines the most, to be honest, is the actual um, the phone app. So if I just get the phone here and then unlock it. Oh. There we go, right. So, this is where it shines the most, really, using the phone app. So, I'm just going to sync it here and just clear that. I've got Wi Fi. And then on here, you need to go to Wi Fi. Then, you've, then it starts sending out a Wi Fi signal. And then, come on, come on, come on. The phone should find it. Yeah, there we go, Bandit. So click on that, connect some reason on the Galaxy S7 it says fail to connect even though it does actually connect but what can you do um, right so here our media TomTom Tom Bandit app and then it acts like a live viewfinder and if you switch it that way it also uses it in widescreen mode and it tells you you know what mode you're in at the bottom left hand corner settings etc so that's pretty smart and then you can change all the settings here, so do, you can't actually use it on here. On that, you can't use these buttons while it's connected to your phone. So I'll just go photo. Then you can change it to video settings. You can change the settings all in there. Wide angle, etc. Image. You can do all that in there. Dead simple. Um, what else can you do? Let's turn the brightness up. Um, you can click on here and then this gives you all your videos so these are all the videos that I've taken um, which is pretty smart and then it comes up with highlights so using the GPS and uh, technology that's built into the uh, camera and I'm just picking up wind noise here, hang on there we go so yeah all these little uh, spots at the bottom these are where it thinks it's seen an area of interest so here I've got acceleration I'm like here I'm starting to bomb it I think I am um, overtaking a minute or something that's why it's that you know detected that it's got um, I think is this g-force or something I think that's a g-force tag I think I just do heavy braking yeah 
you know, and it does all that kind of cool stuff. And it's a live stream, it's very quick, very, very quick. So I'm quite impressed there um, in terms of the speed of the thing. Um, then you've got highlights. Oh, look, highlights, there you go. Then you can look at all your highlights that the thing has created. Another cool thing is your create story. You click create a story, and then you can either add highlights and then select the scenes you want from its highlights library, or you can literally just go create a story and then shake the phone and then it'll just create a story based on your footage so if I just shake it there we go so it's created some story that's just me playing with it at home then it sets two minutes and that's me riding braking pretty uh, straightforward yeah rising around and yeah, and then once you've done that, you can add a soundtrack, you can add an overlay, this is pretty cool, I probably use this quite a lot. So it tells you your, uh, your speed. So here, oh, you can't use it sideways. So here it tells you my speed overlay, so I'm doing like 38, 40 miles an hour, um, etc. You can go uh, superhero, what else that? Oh, that tells you how many G's, G-force you, you know, you're under. Uh, King of the Hill, show your altitude, cardio crusher, etc, etc. So you got a lot of cool, some cool stuff there. And then you can simply just click click share, and then it'll just start creating the video, dead simple. And you can go 2 minutes, 10, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, etc. Yesterday, uh, whatever you want to do, you can do all that there. So that's pretty smart, it's a cool feature. Um, uh, but the thing is, when you actually do create a, sh uh, a story, it only saves it in 1080p. 60 fps so no matter what you recorded it in it'll always do it at that so uh, that's something to bear in mind um, you can also download the videos directly from the camera into your phone if you just click on that and then click share it'll just download it at its true resolution or just connect it to the uh, PC um, and that's about it for the app um, there's more information for that online you know it tells you the battery and all that kind of stuff uh, now, if I get this, I've got it connected to power, just charge up at the moment. But I'm just going to turn it off one second. Turn it off there. Oh wait, disconnect. There, yeah. There we go. Now I can think I can turn it off. There you go, turn it off. And then I'm just going to unplug it from here. And then I'll show you how to disconnect the battery, which I think I've already done. So you just press that in twist it and then it should just pop out there we go and then here you've got the SD card in there so I'm just going to plug that into my PC and um, I'll upload the footage so you can get a good look at how it's uh, going to look like alright so I just had a quick go on it um, you know done the videos you can see up for yourself what you think of the camera um, after using it there's um, Main complaints, I've got a couple of niggles really, um, obviously you can't do 4K at 30fps, would have been nice to have, but obviously it is a bit cheaper than the GoPro that does do the 4K 30fps, uh, but um, you know, maybe version 2, that's fine, you know, it's not a huge deal because the 2.7K quality is really good. Um, another thing is um, when you actually do create a, a video on the app, with the speedometer and stuff like that and then you upload it to Facebook or whatever it only does it at 1080p or YouTube but it only does it at 1080p 60fps and um, would have been nice to have it output at the true resolution so you don't have to you know uh, upload it again you know in the true resolution if you do want to upload it so um, uh, that's a shame uh, obviously you do get a, mic, a lot of mic wind noise but I've since realised that uh, if I can find it, this thing here is a little beard for uh, the. It's like a little dead cat for the uh, uh, the microphone. So that's meant to stop a lot of wind noise. That little makes it Tom Tom that's got a beard, um, but um, that might get rid of it. I haven't tested it yet, but other than that, it's pretty decent. When you've actually got it on the helmet, even though it's the he one of the heavier uh, action cams out there, when I got it on the helmet, I couldn't really notice it that much. So that's fine. Um, Really good a wide angle view. Um, not really much else really. It's a, I'm quite impressed with it to be honest. Uh, it's got really cool features. Everything works. You know the app works fine. Never had any issues with the app. 
um, and I can see it, see myself using it quite a lot. So, um, but version two, I'm guessing will have 4K 30 FPS. Um, it'll probably have the dive lens already built in, so you don't have to buy it separately. Um, probably will do the true resolution um, uh, uploads with your, if you at least have the option for it when you're doing your uh, when you're using the app. But other than that, yeah, really good rounded package and I can't complain at all for the price I got it at, at the photo show. So well done Tom Tom, you've got really onto a winner here and uh, hopefully you stay in the action cam game. Cheers, that's what's from my unboxing and review. Uh, hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and um, stay tuned for some vlogs.